Welcome, welcome my friends, Angela Giles here. I'm really excited to show you today how to sync up Twitter with Facebook. Twitter and Facebook, I believe, are truly the attraction marketing applications of 2009. If all you can do is pick two, I would pick Twitter and I would pick Facebook. And I'm gonna tell you why you need to sync them up. You need to sync them up because if you just have a little bit of time every day you want to send out as many tweets as you can that are full of great content that you're going to be providing people, people that are in your niche. Um, and so obviously, since Facebook is so popular, you're going to be providing those, you want to be providing those tweets to people on your Facebook account, people that you're friends with, people that you will become friends with. And I have another video that you can watch that teaches you how to add friends quickly on Facebook that are in your niche on a daily basis. And so you're going to be wanting to give constant updates to those friends of yours on Twitter as well as on Facebook so that they see you providing good quality up-to-date content on a, you know, hour by hour or day by day basis. So what happens is as you're providing them good content, they're going to recognize you as someone that is successful in that particular niche. And they're going to start thinking, wow, this person really knows what he or she is talking about. And pretty soon what happens is you'll start getting emails and phone calls or you know a little message from someone that say, says hey what do you do what's your main business and can I partner up with you because they see you as successful in that niche and they want to work with you that is called attraction marketing and truly it's all about providing value to other people for free and just giving them something great whatever that may be and having them come back at you and realize that you are successful and that you truly do care and you want to share and you want to make their business more successful. But what happens really honestly is, is that they'll see that you're successful and they want to be in the same business with you. So it just works really well. It works time and time again. So welcome, welcome to this video and I will show you how to do this. It's really simple. So obviously you want to log into your Twitter account and I hope you know how to do that since you probably watched my other video on how to set up a basic Twitter account and pimp it up. So you want to log on, click down here on apps. This will just take a minute and it will pull up. There's several different apps, widgets, twirl, Twitterific, you name it, they have it. I did a video on TweetDeck. I love this. It's so awesome. TweetDeck helps you build instant relationships with people quickly and efficiently. So go watch that video if you get a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to widgets. We're going to click on widgets right here. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting a widget on your your Facebook account. Now you could do anything, MySpace, Blogger, TypePad, but we're going to use Facebook because I believe Facebook is the app of 2009 and it's my favorite to use even over MySpace. So you want to click on continue because you're going to add the Twitter application to your Facebook. You're going to install Twitter in Facebook and it's going to go to Facebook and ask you either to create an account or log in. So I'm going to log in. So before you do this, obviously, I would just make it easier on yourself and make sure you already have a Facebook account set up. And I have a video on that too, so you're welcome to watch that if you don't know how to do that. Now, to add a Twitter application, you need to log into your Twitter account. So what it did is it automatically logged me into Facebook. So I'm going to log in really quick. So see what it did is, <clears throat> it gave me a little error at first, so I just went back and just logged back in and to my Twitter, and it comes up with this. And what you do is you allow Twitter to update your Facebook status. So you click on that, and it will allow status updates from Twitter. So you want to allow status updates. And so voila, um, I'm going to put something here. What are you doing? I am working on another Twitter video. And I'm going to click update. So it's fun. So this will automatically show up on my Facebook page. So you can see that it showed up right there on this. So what happens is, is that now I have this particular widget on my Facebook page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out now of my Facebook account. So I logged out of my Facebook account. Now I'm going to log back in just so I can show you what it did. And 
as you can see, it shows up as a little update, a news feed. It comes in as a news feed and it says, Angela K.S. Giles. I'm working on another Twitter video about a minute ago, so that's what it did. It's really cool. And it shows, I'm working on another Twitter video. So it automatically shows up in my status. So every time I go into Twitter um, and update my status, it will show up here. So I'm going to log out here and I'm going to show you something. Let's go to Twitter. Okay, so now I'm at Twitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a status and then I'm going to show you how it will show up on your Facebook account. So I'm going to say, I am enjoying showing people how to install a Twitter widget on their Facebook account. Okay, I'm going to click on update. Okay, see it showed up right here on my Twitter profile. Now we're going to go over to Facebook. We're going to log in. Give it a second here. It will log it in. And you will see it shows up here. In my news feed, I am enjoying showing people how to install a Twitter widget on their Facebook account. It shows up in my status. I'm enjoying sh showing people how to install a Twitter widget on their Facebook account. So my friends, can you see if you're constantly giving good content to people, if, you're, if you set up an automated tweet, like using Tweet Later or even just manual tweets right on your tweet profile, and then you, set, you put a widget on your Facebook account, how you can be constantly having um, brand new tweets always going to your Facebook and it's constantly changing and as Google indexes you know and does their spider crawling on Facebook your stuff is constantly changing and how great that is and how much how powerful that is and how it can just make your rankings on Google even higher because you're constantly changing your information so there's it, there's a twofold strategy here a you'll show up higher on your Google rankings and two um, what is great about this is you're providing good, great content to people on a constant basis and you've streamlined it so you only have to go into your Twitter account or your tweet later and put in an automatic tweet that will go out to people so you only have to update in one place. Now, enjoy. Come chat with me anytime. You can find my information on any of my social media sites. You can Google me or you can, you know, if you're on YouTube or Metacafe or you find this video somewhere, you can probably find my information on my channel. I would love to chat with you and get to know you better and help you with anything that you need help with. I have a great inner circle that I work with that would be happy to help you as well. God bless you and I hope that your online business prospers. Make it a great week.